The relationship between Hindu temples of South India and this structure are apparent as soon as you arrive. The shapes of the columns with their sculptural elements all resonate as South Indian. Here, the main gate. And the main pathway to enter. And immediately we are greeted by figures, just as they are in Mahabalipuram. In this case, women, the Apsaras. Life-size forms surrounding the gate. Crazy. And from the main gate, we come to the main walkway. Wide stones. Intricate carving in the railings. Many very like those in temples in India. Gateways leading to the north and south as we approach the temples before the temple. The guide near to me just said they were libraries from within which the scrolls were taken. A library on the left and a library on the right, he said. I don't know how true that is, but here you have them. There are many kinds of worshippers in the modern era, the era of the visual, the digital generation. They carry cameras and sticks. There are lotus ponds on either side before you get to the main temple. And they are in full bloom here. just near the banks for some reason. The approach.
entering the temple. Wow, this stuff is pretty detailed. I mean, that looks like iron, but it's stone. are just on the columns as you enter. I mean, it's pretty spectacular. I'm not going to touch it, but really immensely detailed work just on the columns even. And the doorways, the gateways. So in we go. Angkor Wat toward the Sanctum Sanctorum. <laughs> 